so i had interaction with anurag and anurag is pursuing his masters in fact ms in energy science department of iit guwahati he is electrical engineer so uh, anurag uh, if i share with you the credential which anurag will also tell he is uh, electrical engineer with the gate score 552 first time he wrote gate which uh, 552 gate score and uh, he is from obc background and 8.72 as uh, cgpa though he is obc but he got uh, because of his good interview skills and all he got the seat in general category list only and anurag not only got iit guwahati ms he has he, has, he got 16 calls those of you who think that low gate score you may not get the opportunities think again so uh, 16 calls he could get in uh, uh, summer counseling and uh, you need to prepare well for interviews and you need to know uh, properly uh, you can convert that and not only that this year crazy placements are going on so anurag also explains in detail the kind of placement scenario in iit guwahati and uh, with the department uh, like energy science and all you can get a placement of uh, you know average package is 14.5 lakh as per anurag you can think of getting very high package also if you upskill yourself ms is better than mtech for placement as per anurag uh, see what is the reason for that listen to the video in totality it will be very helpful for you to make right decision for you let's listen this uh, anurag and know more about that so okay anurag first of all let me thank you for the time you spared for the interaction yes sir no thank okay. you very much sir no problem okay anurag you are doing your masters that is ms it is also mm. called mtech research mtech yes. ra yes, uh, in uh, prestigious iit guwahati in energy mm. science department so that yes, is sir. a very very important department for many students and also energy science is the you know nowadays it is uh, actually in yeah. trend so we uh, every student wants to join the courses related to this so yeah. i am very sure a uh, lot of information will come from your side related to this course hmm. uh, before i start uh, uh, asking you couple of things related to your course let me ask you about you anurag which part of india you are from when did you graduate which college and what is your engineering okay. background because this energy science is interdisciplinary subject in the domain yeah. so what is your engineering background what was your cgp in college and gate score so how many mm -hmm. times did you write gate and what was your journey post gate so what are other opportunities did you explore okay sir uh, actually hello everyone this is anurag i am from kolhapur maharashtra i completed my btech in energy engineering uh, in 2021 just earlier batch uh, i i wrote the gate uh, 2021 it was my first attempt of course and uh, i wrote it in electrical engineering uh, where i got 452 score Uh, my category is obc and uh, my btech cgp is 8.72 now uh, i i was uh, like very uh, focused on pursuing mtech and i wanted to do it from a prestigious institute in india so i i it is where the options for me and uh, but my score was less because it was my first attempt i had prepared only for like 6 to 7 months only before that mm -hmm. and uh, my as my score was less i had to but i don't have knowledge about this admissions right I, it was a very low score and, and i didn't knew that a few iits even gave admissions to this because i thought like uh, when we go to this uh, common portal for the admission for the mtech admission right there you don't get opportunity for such a low score because it's just a uh, centralized procedure but this course is na msr courses or mtech ra courses this have tests as well as interviews so if you can perform good in interviews you can get into this courses directly so i uh, even uh, contacted i contacted with uh, your pdi education and after that i got a lot of opportunities now in all i have list here I uh, totally I gave 16 interviews based on okay, this. Okay, okay, Anurag. So uh, first, I want you because there's a lot of information is going to come now, and uh, yeah, yeah. I I want to uh, interrupt you a little bit here. I want yeah. to confirm whatever information you said. So you are electrical engineer and you wrote gate only once. That is two zero two one. Twenty one. And yeah. your CGP is very good, eight point seven two, and four fifty two is a gate score, right? Yeah, yeah. Your OBC category uh, uh, yes. you have. So with this credential, then you started applying, right? Yes, sir. and now you are telling us that what are the various calls you got, right? Is that what you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, okay, sir. Perfect. So, so yes. I have request Anurag, please tell us about the institute name, like IIT Guwahati, course name, M Tech, M S P H D, like M S, and department name, like Energy Science, something like that. Yeah, sure. The first call I got was for IIT Bombay, Sitara. Okay. Yeah, Sitara. I got for P H D. It was. Okay. And uh, yeah, 
the second call i got was from iit roper for phd mm. uh then this uh, iit roper phd was in wireless communications okay uh, then iit guwahati i got ms plus phd mm. ms plus phd call then in triple e department then uh, triple it delhi i got phd mm-hmm. in ec electronics mm-hmm. then iit mandi ms i got two mm-hmm. interviews in wireless uh, first was in wireless communication and another was in power electronics mm-hmm. then uh, iit mandi phd interviews i got Mm-hmm. Uh, I got three interviews call in different mm-hmm. departments, but I didn't attend those because I was not interested to go there. Mm-hmm. Then IIT Guwahati MS Energy, which I mm-hmm. am now pursuing, I got this call. Then IIT Rukhi, I got two interviews, mm-hmm. uh, but I didn't go. It was for PhD, but I didn't mm-hmm. go there. Mm-hmm. Then uh, IIT Hyderabad PhD, I got two interviews as usual. Mm-hmm. Wireless mm-hmm. Ka, uh, wireless communication was one, and another I don't remember exactly now. Mm-hmm. Then IIT Tirupati MS, I got two interviews. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, then IIT Dharwad MS I got two interviews. I same wireless communication and another was in electrical engineering because they have MS in electrical engineering. Mm-hmm. Uh, IIT Guwahati E Mobility I was in waiting list but okay. I couldn't get the interview call because okay. it just <laughs> closed before me. Okay. Yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the last one is uh, energy studies which I got Guwahati. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. I I want to ask you something. You got a call from a department for MS plus PhD. I think from IIT mm-hmm. Guwahati. What was that department you said? Triple A, Triple A department. Triple A. Okay. So, what is MS plus PhD, Anra? What is the meaning of that? MS plus PhD basically is dual degree program. Okay. You get MS, mm-hmm. and uh, you have to complete the program in total around five years, mm-hmm. and you'll get two degrees. That is MS and PhD at okay. the end. totally mm-hmm. and this program basically it has a lot of course work in the starting two years because you are getting mm-hmm. dual degree right mm-hmm. so the course work is more but at the end you will be getting two degrees mm-hmm. so what if somebody wants to uh, uh, go uh, after taking ms or is does not want to complete phd does he get ms mm-hmm. yeah actually there is a exit degree with masters you can go to it but uh, it you have to have a valid reason for it Okay. It is not that you will take this as a indirect route to get MS and go away. No, no, it is not like <laughs> that. You have to convince the committee for that. Okay, okay. So there is some reason for that, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You also mentioned about e-mobility, which I think is a one of the new courses. You know, this course yeah. was not there earlier. Yeah. It was not there earlier. Now, Professor uh, Pravin Kumar, through which mm-hmm. you contacted earlier, right? Mm-hmm. So he is uh, actually working in that field. Mm-hmm. he is basically allied to triple e department and working mm-hmm. in the e-mobility sector. So mm-hmm. they are giving MSR in that. Uh, e mobility mm. and it is also a good course because uh, uh, professor pravin he has a good knowledge in that and they mm. work on the pra- practical aspects also mm-hmm. yeah he is yeah. a wonderful uh, mentor and professor and uh, yeah. very knowledgeable individual and he has created e mobility as a platform in iit guwahati yes this exactly is and we we being from energy sector we i have chosen his course i am from electrical background so i have chosen okay. his course as a elective mm, perfect here. Mm, okay yeah. okay anra now i will ask you a very specific question you are a fresh i mean you have graduated in 2021 ha just the year many students have written gate and i am going to come to a very uh, relevant question to you many mm-hmm. students have written gate as you know gate exam is just over mm-hmm. so they say that sir our gate score is near 500 550 maybe mm-hmm. it is not that high we will get nothing out of it so we want to write it again okay, okay. now i i don't have uh, so what should i advise i want to know from you and then okay. some people write twice thrice and this keeps on going what okay. is your advice to such students what should be done i would say if you if you want to do mtech 500 is a good score you'll get good iit that's for sure i am getting it in 452 mm-hmm. even though i am from obc i got uh, the seat mm-hmm. of general candidate mm-hmm. so that's the thing if you are around 500 definitely you'll get mtech just the thing is you have to go uh, work hard for the interview part mm-hmm. yes. because my, my energy interview which i gave here it was the i'll say the best for me mm-hmm. at least that's mm-hmm. that's why i got selected as such a low score mm-hmm. so if you give good interview if you good uh, prepare good for the return you test will be selected no no doubt no but that. second question comes anurag student why why they don't go for masters i tell you the reason mm-hmm. students are not even aware that mtech can give them jobs and career ah. i tell you that <laughs> very honestly I think I'm I'm the only person who's crying on YouTube that you know M Tech will give you career, M Tech will give you jobs, and this okay. is good. And IITs are very good institute. Uh, yeah. Students think otherwise. They think that only jobs in India, I think, are public sector. M Tech <laughs> is wastage of time, so may get nothing at out of this. I want to know through you and uh, uh, yeah. whether pursuing MS or M Tech in institutes like IIT Guwahati, can you get jobs? 
now sir i will tell you i was also surprised by seeing the placement scenario this year yes. this year was the best placement for the iit guwahati till now i know <laughs> if, yeah it, it was actually now now i am seeing the average package here is now 14.4 crores okay 14.4 lakh uh, average yeah 14 sorry 14.4 lakhs okay. and many people are about 1 crore mm. i don't know the exact number but it's 14.4 lakh is the average and mm. it's the phase 2 now currently going on it's mm. getting over actually it started in 50 uh, 15 jan the phase 2 mm. still mm. there are companies coming for 30 25 lpa for Achha. software development yeah Achha. for Achha. software developer if you are aap apne in... department ki baat kar rahe hain kya you are talking about energy science also and uh, yeah if you are msr you are eligible to apply there also okay okay earlier earlier this msr course is started in 2015 actually mm -hmm. so till 2017 18 we weren't allowed to sit for the placements okay. because this is msr master of science by research right mm -hmm. these people they generally tend to go for phd's mm -hmm. so we were not allowed but in 2018 the institute decided we will be also allowed and now we are allowed to sit for the all the placements and you have better placements. learnings you have better yeah. learnings because you work on projects like yeah. like that so you have more skills hmm. yes sir yes sir hmm. actually as compared to mtech now mtech guys uh, we are in second semester now a uh, woman semester is done in second semester mtech guys still have the coursework everything hmm. is course for them hmm. first year full of, full of course for mtech but for now uh, we have a project for 12 credits hmm. so, so we have to kaafi seekh sakte hain kaafi learning kar sakte hain exactly exactly sir hmm. and one good thing i found was Uh, in this interview for this energy science which i give uh, gave after gate it was taken by the, my supervisor only okay so the supervisor who is willing to take candidates under him he hmm. only takes the interview only single fellow yeah only single fellow and the thing is uh, i am from tripoli right so this energy science is actually a interdisciplinary course yes. there are five schools mechanical then electric tripoli then you have uh, different rural tech and all biosciences are there So mm -hmm. these people togetherly, there are adjoint faculties with this department. Now mm -hmm. these faculties will be your supervisor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. these faculties only take the interview. Mm -hmm. If you are from electrical, your interview will be taken by that faculty because mm -hmm. you are eventually going to be under him, working under mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. So in the interview only, he will ask like in which sector you are working, want to work. Mm -hmm. So my guide, Dr. Sisir Kumar here, he mm -hmm. is working on. He has three projects. He was mm -hmm. working on the three different domains. One is mm -hmm. uh, solar. Uh, mppts solar chargers another is uh, this insulation high voltage insulation mm -hmm. and third one is wireless power transfer mm -hmm. so i told him i am interested to work on projects and i work in this field so that's why i think i was better for getting this selection here mm -hmm. perfect yeah. so that means we can conclude that yes if somebody is serious from the beginning then iit is offer uh, the jobs the, i mean jobs you will get it for sure and you will yeah. get a good uh, starting i mean you are saying start average is 14.5 that means approximately 15 lakh mm -hmm. that means you will get a very good career opportunities from these courses right yeah yeah, yeah. yes sir yes sir this year I, I i don't know about earlier years but this year na placement this was good booming. really good it's a crazy IIT. crazy placement all over india yeah, yeah, crazy yeah. placements yes, that i have observed not only iit i am talking to people morning till evening from nit is from different yes, colleges sir. i tell you actually na there Every there are a lot of companies coming so even they schedule their test at uh, Uh, 2 a.m. in the night. Uh -huh. There are a lot of so, companies coming, so they don't have slots for giving the exams now. So they take exams at night even. That's true. I remember, you know, students are sometimes calling in the night, 12 o'clock. Sir, my job is done. You know, when they get yeah. job, they tend to call the teacher sometimes. You know, Idiotly, to share yeah, the information. Yes, so yes, I sir. am receiving such many calls. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that the, I'm getting sir wonderful job. See, the students who join the courses with the hope mm -hmm. that even if 8 lakh per annum, they will get, they will be happy. Think mm -hmm. of he gets twenty six lakh package. Think of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And triple, and that is happening actually because very good packages are coming this year. And yes, sir. And here there's a good system like you can apply for fifty different companies. Mm -hmm. Like one candidate, it can he can apply for maximum fifty companies, and he will be like uh, from that fifty, whichever he gets first. You, he can't be sitting for next companies, so it's good now. Whichever you are interested, there only you apply. Mm -hmm. You won't go to all the companies. Mm -hmm. That's, That's a good thing which I found here. So, some student was telling me that sir, we are seven people, so six got placement. And mm -hmm. he was FMS only, MS only, mm -hmm. and then I'm I'm only left. But the good thing is now still there are two hundred more companies are going to visit, and I'm the only person left, so I can choose yeah. the company now. <laughs> yes, sir, <laughs> yes, sir. Kind of situation. Yeah, it was. It happened during the first phase that the number of jobs were greater than the number of candidates. Actually, yes, yes, yes. That yeah, is it that. happened this year. And this time now, IIT system is also aware, so they have um, opened it for all the departments. 
Mm-hmm. Because the students are acquiring the skills, I tell you. I tell you the reason yeah. for that. Even company, what company wants. Company mm-hmm. is not interested in your degrees or curriculum. Company is interested in the skills. So yeah. they want, okay, the guy who is good in data science, good in machine learning, good in uh, artificial intelligence, I'm going to take it. And the students yeah. are sharp. Students have learned all these things online. Courses yeah. or something like that they must have done. So they yes. are expert, whether you are in energy science or you are in other branch, material mm-hmm. science or something, you are doing that. And the company is checking your knowledge and hiring you. That is how it exactly. is. Uh, because of this, now even our department, Energy School of Energy Science, what they did is earlier, uh, from before 2017, they were having strict electives that you can choose from these subjects only. But now you can choose from any any subject which is offered in IIT Guwahati. Mm. Like uh, there are a lot of people from my class which have chosen data science as their elective. Because mm-hmm. they know that it's required for the yes, placements, yes. right? Mm-hmm. So they are working in that field. So mm-hmm. they, they are getting this opportunity while working in energy. So this is mm-hmm. a big thing, I would say. That's a, that's a great thing. Yeah. Achha, Anurag, one more uh, you know, misunderstanding students have is between mm-hmm. MTech versus MS. Mm-hmm. So they think that MS is not the course as good as MTech for placements and all. What is your answer to that? Okay, okay, okay. This was actually before because MSR, the MS guys, they were not allowed for the placements earlier. But now they are equivalent to uh, uh, MTech. Mm. And even I will say now MSR is a good course as compared to B-tech, uh, MTech because these guys, they are working on theory only mm. all mm. year. Mm-hmm. And like for me, I'm interested yes. in projects and all this. <laughs> so for me, this is a dream course, I'll say. So you get you more know, time to upgrade yourself, upskill exactly. yourself. Exactly. I have only three subjects this semester mm-hmm. and rest all is the project work. So, exactly. If you want to do anything else, you can do with this course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So Anurag, that is wonderful. Now, one last question I will ask you is in energy studies, when you have selection, what do you want to prepare for the intro? For the intro? How it all goes? Okay. In energy uh, science, actually, no, I'm from, I was from electrical. So as I said, uh, the person who was taking the interview, he'll be from electrical. Mm. Okay, uh, and he will be asking you questions mostly related to electrical domain only, okay. core mm. electrical domain, and uh, the energy part of it. You, mm. you should be uh, clear with the all the energy conversions, like power, mm. energy, like mm. watt, kilowatt hours, and all these parts. You, should, you will be uh, clear. Then the next thing is you, sh- you should be able to know about all the loads. Mm. Machines part should be clear. Mm. One thing is that because generators and all you need in this energy sector. And lastly, the solar part. If you are saying you are interested in solar, you need to know the basics of it. Mm-hmm. Like not just solar panels produces DC electricity. That is not required. Actually, mm-hmm. they will ask you how it is produced. How will you store it? What will be your system? You should mm-hmm. be knowing the design of that system. Mm-hmm. So these basics you, you should know before going for the interview. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Perfect, Anurag. So Anurag, this year, you know, your PD is also trying to connect the students who are interested in particular courses with the seniors like you sitting in those mm-hmm. institutes. So okay. maybe the students, when they will be interested to have interaction with you, so mm-hmm. I will connect you and we'll have a common Zoom meeting with some uh, such students so that information, okay. the queries which they have and information which you have could be connected and students okay. make right decision for their career. Right, Anurag? Okay, okay sir. Sure, Thanks sure. a lot, okay. Anurag, for your time and I wish yeah, you, thank you all sir. the very best. Yeah, thank you very much, sir.